Hey everybody, Tony D and little Joan is on the couch and this is a screenwriter's rant about why The Last Man. Now a TV show that's going to stream on Netflix based on the comic. Um, yeah, if you, if you know what this is, you're probably already laughing. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Please check out my books. Links in the description. Holly Woke, another novel, Woke a Stan, a novel, political satire, and of course the Pioneers books one through six, comedy horror in South Jersey, book seven dropping soon. Woke a Stan, also available, an audio book. Kindle Unlimited is free. If you have Kindle Unlimited, somebody's reading the Pioneers, thank you for that. Uh, why the last man? The premise? All the men die, except one. Uh, it's just some sort of disease, kills them all, they don't know why. And it's a big mystery, and it's kind of like The Walking Dead, only there's no zombies, and women are in charge. And uh, surprise, surprise, they have lots of problems. Now, uh, <laughs> it's like the ultimate feminist uh, comic. It really is. And, uh, you know, there's one character who's a man, and uh, basically the entire world spends the whole time emasculating them. So this is coming out uh, from Hulu September 13th. I was never a fan of the comic. I, I, in fairness to the comic, I didn't read much of it. I read a little bit of it. I really couldn't get into it. I just think the whole premise is dumb. Um, and uh, I think it really was just a tool for the uh, woke women at DC to, to have a little little thought experiment. And there's nothing wrong with that. But I think it's kind of funny. Right? I think it's kind of funny that they have this, you know, big drama. And it's just all women. It's all women now. You're in charge, women. And there's just one man left. <laughs> and he's still the most important character in the, in the comic. That's the funniest thing about this thing. Um... So yeah, it's just, it, 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 it's, it's, I don't know, sci-fi feminism, I guess you'd call it. It's a sort of feminist ultimate dream, I, I, I would think. Uh, you know, it, the other way, <laughs> you know, if you did it the other way, what would happen? I mean, that, that would be pretty bad. That would be pretty bad. Um, uh, but, uh, you know what? Um, I wonder, I wonder if things would fall apart that quickly. You know what I mean? Because really how many female sewer workers are there? Construction workers, you know, it, it would destroy society. It would destroy humanity if all the men died or all the women died. So it's kind of a ridiculous premise, but if you could suspend your disbelief, yeah, I mean, it's an interesting mind exercise. I don't know, a series on, on uh, what is it, Hulu, FX? Yeah, FX and Hulu. I don't think it could sustain itself. I never thought the comic could sustain itself. That's why I think I couldn't get into it. Um, you know, it. sure, you can drone on and on about men and women, the role of men and women. Oh, if only we had done this or that, or, you know, did we do this to ourselves kind of thing. But at the end of the day, it's, it's a rookie move. It's making sweeping changes in order to make big ham fisted points about gender. In my view, you don't need to do these big giant sweeping things to make really uh, pointed points about gender to do sci-fi. You just don't need to do anything this big. And is this a fun premise? No. It's different when you talk about World War Z. That's, well, I don't know about the movie, but, you know, zombies is sort of a, can be a fun premise. Killing all the men, eh, in a realistic way, semi, not really a fun premise. Makes, feel, makes you feel like everybody's doomed. Right, and then there's going to be all these episodes about them trying to trying to restart the human race, and how are we going to do that without men? And you know, can we use why, you know, the last man to uh, somehow 
uh, keep the human race going. It's like, you know, it, it, it's it's ridiculous. I, that's all I can say about it. So, am I going to watch the show? Nah. Nah, I, I couldn't get into the comic. I mean, I'm sure the show's going to be better because the reason these film and TV show adaptions tend to be better is because the writers are forced to make it more palatable to an audience. Whereas in comics, especially during this era of comics, I don't think they were... I think DC was too much in the bubble, especially in Vertigo. They were too far in the bubble to make... They didn't care if anything was palatable. These were... I think this was one of the pet projects. It was popular. Don't get me wrong. I'm not knocking it. I'm not knocking the talent on it. I'm sure the talent is good. Uh, it's just, you know, it's a sure. It should have been a mini series. Like it'd be a cool mini series, you know, like a six issue mini series. What if there were no men or one man left? Like, you know, that would be the way to end it. You know, with the women, you know. Uh, mirroring basically eventually turning into men in their own way and fighting over the last man and then ending up killing him and in the process and dooming the human race that to me would be the ending of this but you know I know a bunch of you fans are going to get in the comments and tell me I don't know what I'm talking about because I didn't read it and that's not what the story's about and blah 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 it's not what I'm talking about I'm talking about the structure of things this is what we talk about in screenwriting we talk about structure and if you're going to do a series, you need to structure it in such a way that there's a story to tell, to unfold. There's not that many stories to tell here. It's all in the beginning, just like in a zombie thing. There's some things that are cool to tell as a movie and some things that, that are cool to tell as a TV show. This is a movie idea. This would have been a better movie. One shot you know, you tell the story of what it would be like without men, or, you know, or one man left. And you take the highlights, uh, you know, can you go into the side characters? Yeah, you can, but ultimately it's about one thing, the survival of the human race. And that's a movie idea. Uh, you know, The Walking Dead, in my view, it's a bad series. It's just bad. And part of the problem is the zombies. They're, in my view, they've, They've effed up that, and that's something I never talked about in my Walking Dead rants. It's more they had so many other problems with the show. I never even got around to that. But you know, for this, it's a similar problem. This is a movie idea stretched out over a TV show. It should be a movie. That's just my opinion. You can disagree with me all you want. I don't care. I just make videos. Speaking of which, there's two other on Bit Shoot and Rumble, Hollywood Cot Take, and a News Blast. That's it for me, Tony D. Joan and I will see you tomorrow.